you can reset your experience so it goes back to zero so you can see how much experience you got so whenever I finish mining I clear the experience to go smelt and then see how much experience I got from that it's good to learn how much experience you get from each thing up here is the uh, the new canoe system that I was talking about it's right over here the little transportation arrow and then the furnace with the icon this also has a, a anvil which is new it's another icon and uh, some water that you can use alright so just go to your inventory and you're going to use either the copper or the tin on the furnace it'll ask what you want how many you want you just click bronze if you want all go through and it'll do all of them for you you can just wait oh look we could probably grab some tin here and there's a hammer might want to grab that all of their hammers are free in the general store so doesn't really matter if it's on the ground actually we're probably going to need it to uh, make the bronze stuff out of it so this is going to be our first uh, sword type thing that we're going to hold in our uh, little spot right here for swords alright and then we can sell this sapphire later just grab this hammer but normally you would come over here to this general store general stores are always marked by a pot and then you talk to either the shopkeeper or the shop assistant or you know right click and trade on them sorry lag again the server it's always good yeah they do have a bronze dagger right there but it's always good to get the experience for making it might need a tender box later so I'll just go ahead and grab one and we already have a hammer and we'd, we're gonna make a bronze dagger and right now we don't have any money but we can make some uh, apparently that's a task so might need to buy the uh, hammer and the bronze dagger just for tasks maybe or not alright but this is how you're gonna make a uh, bronze dagger come back over here to the anvil right next to the furnace and what you're going to do is click on the bronze bar and click on the anvil it's going to come up with this and if the thing is green if the uh, amount of bars is green that means you can make it so we can make a plate body and all this other stuff so I guess since we already have a uh, bronze dagger make a plate body you just click on it oh well alright we don't have the right level so we have to figure out what we can do right now I don't know what this guy wants trade something he probably wants money or something or to give us a bronze bronze skimmy bronze scimitar free free maybe free Come on, please, free. I don't know, usually they don't give it free. Didn't think so. They declined. So, yeah, let's uh, figure out what we can do at this level. Bronze, just click bronze up here. We can do dagger, hatchet, and that's about it. So let's just make a couple daggers until we have the next level. Let's go up. Uh, make one. See if we go up any. Yeah, see, we're at level 2 now. That's another task. So many tasks you can do right here at the beginning of the game. Uh, we can make bronze maces. That'll probably give us more experience. So, make a couple of those, maybe. It's still one bar, it's just more experience. And another task. Let's make another mace. Just for the experience. How much we have left to so the next level 56 we're getting 13 for each of these uh, and bronze maces and daggers they don't really cost that much so I think I'm gonna save the rest of these bars to uh, sell all right so we're good let's keep our stuff organized yeah I don't know I just like to keep it all organized together and
you know, helps me notice where things are and how much they're going to cost. All right, notice that uh, before the ores, they were only costing about 500 GP, gold pieces, gold, however it is, GP and gold, same thing. Now with all these bronze bars, uh, it's 990, so almost 1K. 1K is 1,000 GP, right there, see, 1,000. And that's what we're going to sell, is this stuff and then the sapphire. You might have not gotten lucky enough to get a sapphire, but if you did, you know, they're uncut. You can cut them at a uh, higher crafting level. And yeah, you're, you're going to unlock music tracks as you go. Just follow this road, and we're going to be going to Varrock soon. Don't fight anything yet. You're really not ready. But let me point out that the level, it shows the... Uh, level according to yours so they're level two and the color is going to be green I know that went away because of the lag but the color is going to be green and your level three it's going to be like a light green because they're still one level below you if they were like one level above you it might be a little orange-ish and if they're like really high above you it's going to be red and if they're red actually if they're any level above you you're going to have to right click on them and then click attack to uh, attack them. You can't just left click to attack like you can with the cows or whatever. Pretty sure cows are level three. You can just all right, those are two, but I'm pretty sure the normal cows are three. You can just left click on them. But I think we need to go get some armor and stuff first. So let's go sell our bronze bars and I'm gonna follow the road this time, but. Normally I just keep walking north past this mine and it brings you to the GE, the Grand Exchange. But I'm going to follow this road so it's easier for you guys to understand and follow. So this right up here, these buildings, is the start of Varrock. It's the south side of Varrock. Many, many more music tracks to unlock. Music tracks do absolutely nothing in free to play, just what you want to listen to. If you unlock uh, 500 music tracks and members, you unlock the air guitar emote down down here somewhere, right here. That says zombie hand, but once it stops lagging, it'll say air guitar. Yeah, you'll unlock the air guitar emote once you have 500 songs unlocked in members, and there's a lot of emotes to unlock. I'm not. I'm probably not going to do any holidays right now, even though the Easter event was like just around the corner. It, it ju like just happened. It might still be going on, I don't know. But it was this weekend, or last weekend. This weekend is today, Saturday. Well, it's midnight, so Sunday. But you get my point. Still more music tracks. Lots and lots of music tracks. It's probably going to get really laggy right now because there's a lot of people here. And by a lot. I mean a lot of people here. This is why I suggest not going to World 1 or 3. I think 4 and 5 are members. No, free to play. 4 and 5 are free to play. Uh, 2 is members. So I really suggest not going into World 1. Alright, if you notice this question mark, I know there's a bunch of red dots covering it. Red dots are um, items on the ground. But this, there's this question mark icon on the minimap. So that means there's a tutor. You gotta talk to this guy to use the Grand Exchange. So just talk to him about the basics or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to pay attention unless you really don't know what you're doing. But I'm about to teach you. So it doesn't really matter. You just talk to him. Walk up here. And uh, usually people do make fires here. It's good for fire making training because you can just make them wherever you want here all right yeah there's a lot of people here it's probably gonna lag some all right notice that there's this uh, gate around it I don't know what they call it desk there's this desk around it doesn't look like a desk to me it looks more like a gate but uh, all right there's two grand exchange clerks one right here and one over here and there's a banker here and here now we haven't gotten to the banks yet but yeah right here this you're probably not gonna have it that's from holiday um that's from uh 
having an account during the uh, New Year's of 2010 to 2011. It's a golden cracker. You can crack it open to get a golden hammer, but I'm not going to do that right now. So banks, you can just put whatever you want in them, make new tabs and junk. These buttons down here, this will deposit everything that you're wearing, and this deposits everything in your backpack, so it's easier to just hit that. I really suggest making a bank pin, set a pin. All right, but I'm not going to do that because it's YouTube account, so I don't really need to. I think I'm going to move that cracker over here. This makes new tabs. You can just drag into new tabs to keep organized. Uh tools we can leave up here and uh, I think we can move these to new tab we can leave our uh, stuff we're gonna sell alright this button down here is notes you just click that and then click the amount of item you want to take out puts it in one just one uh, section of your inventory instead of taking up nine spaces it'll take up one space so it's quite useful just click the note thing and take out however many you want because these are all the things we're going to sell. Now, notice the withdrawal 1. We'll just withdraw 1 of that item, 5 of that item, 10, 50. 50 will change. So if you click X and you just type 5K, which is 5,000, same thing. Just type 5K. Now if you go to right click, it changes to 5,000, 5K. You could withdraw all or all but one. Usually you use all but one when you're taking out your money and you want to leave your bank organized. So right now we're just going to sell all this stuff and try to buy some armor and weapons with it. So you just right click on the Grand Exchange person and click exchange and sell and click the item you want. If it's in notes you won't have to change the quantity but if it's not in notes you just click the minus or the plus or all or a hundred or whatever and right here you get to choose what you want to sell it as I wouldn't go too high on it usually I just hit the minus five percent a couple of times and leave it at that hit confirm orange bar means that it's selling green bar means that it's sold it's completed and you can click on it and grab your money almost have 1k right now sell we can sell these, hit the minus a couple times. Alright, that's sold. That's called instantly selling when you just put it in and it just instantly sells. I'll just show you an example of something that doesn't instantly sell, make it like really pricey. Notice that this bar didn't fill up, it's in progress. Just in progress and it hasn't sold anything. And then you have to cancel it right here and take it out. Resell it for a different price. So, I don't know, it's not really convenient to have to take it out and then sell it again. Just a couple times, sell it, I'm just trying to make some quick money real, real fast so we can buy some iron stuff maybe. You just start typing, you just hit buy and start typing. I already know that we're going to need an iron scimitar, iron scimitar, I don't know, just call it a skimmy. Uh, Hit the plus a couple times when you're buying. Hit one or the plus because you only need really need one. You're gonna sell it later when you get the higher levels. Uh, let's buy. And one thing you can do is buy an iron armor set, which is right here. LG is leg, SK is skirt. You just click the one you want, and it tells you what it has: a full helm, plate body, legs, and kite shield, which is what you need. So I'm just gonna hit the plus a couple times because. I mean, don't really have that. Usually these don't sell pretty quick, but they did. And the only reason I bought it in the set instead of the individual items is to show you guys how to take items out of the set. Normally you're just like standing here trying to figure it out. You can't. What you have to do is right click on the Grand Exchange Clerk, click on Sets. And then you're going to right click on this and click on Components. I guess you could just click on it, but you're going to click Components. All right, no, it's Exchange. You can click exchange and it, it exchanges the uh, set for all the items in that set. And then if you wanted to, you could find it up here. Iron Armor Set LG is right here. You right click and click components. Okay, I guess you never click components. You click exchange and it puts it back into a set. So it takes up less space in your bank. If you're running out of space, you can box up your rune set or your iron set or, or whatever. and 
you know it just takes up less space just click exchange I guess I guess if you wanted to you could do uh, components over here stupid annoying messages uh, you click components over here and it does the same thing or not oh components just tells you what's in the set okay you could click exchange over here and it exchanges it alright so now to equip it you just click on it and apparently that's like a lot of tasks right there and now we're pretty poor right here so what I'm gonna do is get a cape I'm just gonna buy a cape uh, you learn the team capes you, you, you learn the capes that you like alright this one's a little too costly for what we have right now so what I'm gonna do is there's this uh, dungeon that we can go and get uh, 10k cash just like pretty quick so I'm just gonna unequip everything real quick and bank it all and I didn't have to unequip it I could just use this empty button but move my money over and put this with the tools just because keep the bank organized it's always good to keep your bank organized so you know where everything is